We're joined now by senior correspondent John Miller, who's been talking to his sources on this story. John, why would the FBI be investigating the communications of the director of the CIA? Normally that wouldn't be the case. What is much more likely here is that the communications of someone else, possibly in a foreign country, that, that are now touching the CIA director's communications would rise to their attention. And then what happens here is they're looking at these messages and they seem to be cryptic in nature, which raised the question, all right, well, who, who is this person? What are these communications about? Why are they cryptic? And that's how this snowball starts to roll down the hill. So in the normal course of business, the FBI in counterintelligence is looking for penetration of the CIA and its communication system. Exactly. And to have it on this level is not only extraordinarily rare, it's unprecedented. You know, I wonder if your sources are telling you anything about whether any classified information or any national secrets were divulged in any of this. They're quite definitive on that. They say while the initial conversations raised suspicions about, well, what is this about? Who's involved here? No classified information, no security violations, and certainly nothing that would constitute a violation of law or anything criminal. And in the end, Scott, what you have here is, at some point when they've gathered all the string, they sit down with Director Petraeus and they ask the questions and he tells the story. And as you know, in Washington, an extramarital affair is not necessarily a kill shot to a career. Um, so it seems that, that this course was probably largely his decision. John, thanks very much.